question. Is air chilled chicken better than water chilled chicken? I think I'm going to put this to the test because I went to Whole Foods and I noticed they had air chilled chicken in big letters in their deli section. Now, what is the difference between air chilled chicken and water chilled chicken? Well, to put it in simpler terms, air chilled chicken is when the processing is done by them running cold air across the chicken while it's hanging to dry it up and to package it. Now, not really dry it up, but you know what I mean, just to get the moisture off of it. Now, water chilled chicken is when they put a whole bunch of pieces of chicken from a variety of different chickens into a bath of water to sanitize it that's the process and that chicken soaks up all the water and your chicken might look plump but when you cook it the water cooks out and your chicken gets a little bit smaller now from what I've heard air chilled chicken does not shrink that much because it's not bathed in a solution of water so we're gonna put that to the test using my vortex well it's not really a vortex on my Weber grill it's pretty much called a whirlpool which is the competitor against the vortex so we're going to see how that baby works as well i'm not going to talk a lot about the whirlpool but it is a pretty good solid piece of material and it didn't fail me yet so enough said about that let's get on to testing out this air chilled chicken so the seasoning that i'm going to be using is the kinder seasoning it's the wood fired garlic with hardwood smoked flavor and this stuff is really really good now be aware that this stuff has salt in it so if you're going to add salt to your chicken, be careful because this stuff can be pretty salty. So just make sure you keep a note of that if you decide to use the Kinder's wood fire garlic. It has great notes of smoke to it and it also has great seasoning. Now I'm pouring avocado oil on this because I want the chicken to have a little bit of crispiness to it. And it just gives a really, really nice bonding for the rub to stick to the chicken. Now, as you can see, these chicken pieces are nice and big and juicy. So I wanna see if they retain the size. So I have my grill already set up. I love my Weber 22 inch grill. And as you can see, I have the Whirlpool AKA Vortex on there as well. And the chicken is going on the grill very nicely in a circular motion. And we're gonna cook this baby up. And for smoking, I'm using the Sharp Gourmet Cooking Wood Avocado Chips. Now, if you're looking for some really, really good woods, check out Sharp Gourmet Woods. You can go online and check them out and you might be able to find them on Amazon. This avocado wood gives the chicken a really nice flavor. All right, so the grill is nice and hot. And about an hour later, I'm gonna check the temperature on the chicken and see if it's ready. Just make sure you check the thickest part of the chicken because you don't wanna check the skinny part because the temperature is not gonna be the same as the thicker parts and look at this it is some nice looking chicken the pieces are thick heavy juicy and they have a lot of meat on them so now it's time to take these babies in the house and give them a taste and see how good it is all right look at that beautiful nice avocado smoke wood on it nice coloring from the seasoning and this smells delicious all right so i know you see a lot of barbecue sauces right in front of the chicken and this is Lily Q's barbecue sauce. And this is one of the best barbecue sauces that I have come across as a brand. All of their sauces that I've tasted so far are really, really good barbecue sauces. And I got to say, if I'm going to put sauce on my chicken or any of my meat, it will be Lily's Q barbecue sauce. Definitely. Now, I'm a sauce on the side type of guy, so I like to cook my meats smoke them up and put them on the side. Now this right here, the ENC, this is more of a vinegar base and it has a bite to it. So if you like vinegar and you like to dip your meats in a nice tangy, spicy vinegar, then the ENC barbecue sauce is something that you would definitely like. Now this barbecue sauce right here, the hot smoky man, if you like a spicy chicken, this is the sauce you want to put on your chicken. Great flavor, has a sweetness to it with a kick. Now this one, the gold barbecue sauce. This has a nice sweetness to it, has a great flavor. It's a little bit of a thicker sauce, not a heavy sauce. It's pourable, but it has a really, really good tangy type flavor. 
But one of my favorites, I gotta say, is the smoky barbecue sauce. It has that really, really, really nice smoky flavor to it. And you can pour it on your meat with no problem. And you can use it as a dipping sauce. Now, if you're a Carolina fan, the Carolina barbecue sauce is just for you. And I love this too. My wife loves it. My daughter loves it. Great, nice, and tangy. Now, the zero sugar Carolina sauce. This tastes a little bit different than the Carolina sauce I just showed you, but it's tasty. It has its own different type of sweetness to it due to it having no sugar. And of course, like I just talked about, we're using the Kinder's wood-fired garlic. This is some good stuff, and remember, it does have salt in it. All right, enough said about the sauces. Let's talk about the chicken. Look at it. Time for a bite. Mmm. Flavor, flavor, flavor. And the chicken retained its moistness. It didn't dry out. It's thick. It has a nice meaty texture to it. And it definitely tastes better. And it retains the moisture better than water chilled chicken. So if you guys are looking for a good chicken and you want to change your world as far as barbecuing up some nice plump drumsticks, hey, go get yourself some air chilled chicken. And I hope this helped you make a decision on what chicken you're going to buy next. And I see you guys on the next video. Bye. See you later.